welcome to another episode of ANN, where the news will always be biased and from my point of view. This week's hot topics will include COVID-19, scientific news, entertainment news, and as always, our honorable mention and this week's Clown Dog Award. In case you guys are wondering why there was no episode of ANN last week, it's because it was the election, guys. And also, it was my birthday. And four years ago, on my birthday, on my exact birthday, Mr. Donald Trump was elected president. And it was such a somber day that I honestly, just emotionally, just didn't have the wherewithal within me to give my energy and my best not knowing how the election was going to turn out. That's the honest to God truth, guys. And then, not to mention, the entire country was just on pins and needles. Everyone was filled with confusion. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, nobody knew who was going to win. And for that, I just felt like I needed that I needed to read the room and just let everybody be able to focus on the election and to let things just settle down before we come back on here. All right, let's get started with today's episode. Studies have shown that after 90 days of contracting COVID-19, one in five patients are developing a mental illness. Recovered COVID-19 patients are developing insomnia, depression, and anxiety. And here, we all thought it was going to be the Rona vaccine that was going to turn us all into zombies. But in actuality, it's the virus itself that is going to turn us all into Kanye West. I mean, just get ready for the streets to be filled with straight jackets and MAGA hats. In scientific news, a 51-year-old woman gives birth to her granddaughter. On November 2nd, Julie Loving, the definition of a glam mall, gave birth to a beautiful and healthy baby girl. After a year of trying to conceive, her daughter, Brianna Lockwood, and her husband had numerous infertility issues. So, Miss Julie decided to offer up her uterus for services. Miss Julie pretty much guaranteed that every mother around the world, including myself, needs to rethink how much we love our daughters. In entertainment news, earlier this week, Larissa Pippen, ex wife to former NBA legend Scottie Pippen, as well as ex-best friend to Kim Kardashian, announced via an interview that she used to date Tristan Thompson before Khloe Kardashian. In the interview, she details that she brought Tristan to a party, and a few days later, the next thing she knew, Tristan and Khloe were dating. They really like to share men and their crew. It's pretty nasty. I mean, thinking about all the STDs that might just flow around in there, like all those juices. Ugh! But one thing is for certain, and that is not up for debate, is that Mr. Tristan Thompson is for everyone. Blue Ivy, daughter to Beyonce and Jay-Z, narrates her first audiobook entitled Hair Love. Guys, this baby queen has already won a BET award. And I'm pretty certain that she's going to win a Grammy nomination for her narration role. Dear Lord, I just want to be Blue Ivy when I grow up. After 11 years, Busta Rhymes drops a brand new album entitled The Wrath of a God. The album contains numerous legendary features from artists like Eminem, Mariah Carey, and Belle Biv DeVoe. My favorite song is Look Over Your Shoulder featuring Kendrick Lamar. Guys, I am so 
excited that Coherent Rap is making a comeback. I mean, even though I've never really been able to understand Busta's rhymes, his talent is undeniable. I mean, he can literally run circles around all these mumble rappers. Somebody go ahead and tell Lil Pump to clock out. This week's honorable mention goes to Twitter. Earlier in the week, Twitter announced that once Donald Trump leaves office, his head of state exemption will be removed from his Twitter account. This has protected Trump's account from being suspended for all of the manipulative lies that he has stated over the last four years. Guys, this means that we no longer have to wake up to Mr. Twitter Fingers himself. And this is why Twitter gets this week's honorable mention for finally letting Americans breathe. This week's Clown Dog Award goes to Donald Trump. Trump and his delusions have caused him to think that he has indeed won the 2020 election. Despite the 4 million plus votes that went in favor of Mr. Joe Biden. Who gonna tell him, y'all? Who? To maintain his control over the Republican Party, Trump has formed a super PAC in which he is asking for donations for his future 2024 presidential run. Trump, just leave us alone. Go away, please. Just go out with dignity. Stop going out like a little bitch. And leave us alone. And this is why you get this week's Clown Dog Award. Well, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching another episode of ANN. Well, the news will always be biased. And from my point of view.